Hey, um, I don't care. Going on. Oh, That's going. This is all going on YouTube. I'm <laughs> unedited. <laughs> all right. You ready um, to start? Yeah. Okay. We've already started. All right. Mm. <laughs> Okay, you can begin. All right, my speech was on teen pregnancy, and um, there's these shows called Sixteen and Pregnant and Teen Moms. They went through childbirth, heartbreaks, and even adoption. There was this one girl on Sixteen and Pregnant. Her name was Caitlin. She gave up her child. Um, and she realized that it was good for, first she thought that it wasn't good, but she realized that it was good for her and her family and even a baby. That, and, and that she finished school, she, her baby's doing good with the adoption, family and all that. And then there was this other girl on Team Moms that she didn't give up her baby, but she raised her baby as a single mother and by herself because her baby's father died in a car crash. So, yeah. Her and her family raised them. I mean, raised her. And yes. there's... <clears throat> 15, there's younger ages, 15 through 17, um, is a higher risk of having STD or having complications um, with the birth. Like mm -hmm. And I'm nervous, I can't help it. <laughs> and there are. There's a high risk of the pregnancy going wrong with a younger child than a teen pregnancy than a younger, uh, older woman. And most say that there, um, when you are having a birth of a boy at a young age, that he will end up in prison. Um, what else? Oh, um, regular physical, ag physical, um, what is it called? Activities will, um, help with the childbirth and the muscles. Uh, that's it that I remember on my paper. Yeah.